the other day I had a dream that Joshua knocked uh, Fury out. But Joshua, you know, Joshua, he's a, he has a great style. I've been watching his fight with Brazil, and he's. I feel like he's gotta just get back to himself a little bit. I feel. I think that he's a little. I don't know. He's lost momentum somehow, and it feels like he, he doesn't have the same confidence. So hopefully he can gain that confidence back. And you know, he's he's a great fighter. He's one of the best. So he has got to keep it together. But Fury, I think, uh, you know, he's, he's the bigger guy. A uh, great boxer. He has different tools, and he's very confident and he's got a good head. So I think that's yeah. gonna make the difference because sometimes you only need that confidence. And you know, I think that that Fury is gonna win, but Joshua is always gonna be dangerous. Yeah, shout out to Raps on TV for the interview and shout out to Otto for the prediction. Now let's dissect his statement. You know, you know, I have to dissect that. Everyone seems to be alluding to this uh, mental fragility AJ has been showing since the knockout defeat to Andrew Ruiz Jr. in Madison Square Garden, right? Based, this is this is solely based on the fact that during the rematch, he boxed. He didn't want to mix it up with Andy. He just boxed throughout the whole fight. But then again. Then again, it, it was down to Andy to press the action because he just knocked this guy out before, what, six months prior. You still don't want to press the action. In my opinion, he tasted the right hand in the first round and he just didn't want to know after that. But that's, that's another story. But yeah, mental fragility. When AJ boxes, he's mentally fragile. But when Fury does, he's a genius. Right? Okay. Fast forward to December the, um, last year. Period of AJ. AJ is landing triple uppercuts, quadruple uppercuts on the inside. Knocks the guy out. End of the fight. Oh, AJ is not the same anymore. He's very hesitant. He's he's, he's scared to let let his shots go. It's I don't I don't I don't understand what people are seeing. I don't get it. Where is this mental weakness coming from? Is it because the guy doesn't doesn't speak much? Is that it? Is it because he doesn't he doesn't talk it? Like Fury does, is that it? We can all talk. <laughs> we can all talk. Every, anyone can. That's easy. I can talk with the best of them. That's We're easy. That comes AJ. easy. One round, two <sighs> rounds, three rounds, gone. That doesn't show or prove any form of mental toughness. Correct me if I'm wrong. Between the two men, only one of the two has been on the brink of suicide, mental breakdown, and all of that stuff. So, only one has the history of that. So, how is the other one the mentally weak one because it lost the fight? Huh? Oh, yeah, nah, nah, let me guess. It shows toughness coming back from that, right? Right? It shows how tough Fury is, right? People just want to make every excuse for this guy. He's just, he just gets away with everything. He can do whatever he wants and, yeah, because he talks a good game, it's fine. This is this is really based off the the Ruiz two fight. That, that's all it's based off. It's not based off the Pula fight. The Pula fight, people are just reaching, talking about they see some some mentally fragile guy in there, some some um, some gun shy fighter in there. That's that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How are you landing that many uppercuts on the inside and you're you're scared to get knocked out? It doesn't make no sense to me. That doesn't make any sense. Can we say, can we say, Fury's scared to get knocked out, he's mentally weak, he's mentally fragile, he's not the same anymore. That's why he refused to box on the back foot against um, Wilder. Huh? Is that, is, isn't that the exact same thing? He changed his style, he switched his style up. Why isn't it the same old Tyson Fury? Is he scared? Joshua approached Ruiz 2 differently from the way he approached Ruiz 1. That's it. End of story. Fury, he came back. He was the same old Tyson Fury doing his movement, boxing, you know, back foot, flicking a jab and all of that against Wilder. Um, doing all his taunting and, and the rest of that stuff. That good stuff. We all loved it. It was, it was beautiful to watch. It was great. Marvellous. Fantastic boxing. But he got knocked down twice and he got al almost knocked out in the 12th round. And then he thought, mm, nah, 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 I can't let that happen again. And he switched his style up. 
Is that a mentally weak man? No, that's a smart man. That's the exact same thing to what AJ did. Exact same thing. Fury could not approach the second Wilder fight the same way he did the first one. That probably would... Well, he might have still won the fight because Wilder's garbage, let's be honest. Right? Wilder's garbage. He might have still won the fight, but arguably he could have got him knocked down again like he did in the first fight. Twice. You know? So he had to take Wilder's strength away from him. Which is the space, the room. He had to go take the fight to Wilder. He had to take his strength away from him. There's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly what AJ did by boxing on the back foot. Ruiz only strength, the only way he could hurt AJ was if AJ exchanged with him. That's the only chance he had. Besides that, AJ could box this guy's head off all night long. That was obvious. Behind the jab. And if Ruiz tried to press the action, he would have got knocked out. Simple as. I'm of the opinion that if AJ did that the first fight, he would have got the knockout eventually anyways. But... That, that's up for debate and that's you know that that's all in the past and i'm not i'm not one of those i, I never bought all that panic attack stuff all that um he, he didn't see him himself he didn't listen no no excuses i did not give an excuse for that first loss he got clipped he lost he got knocked out he got knocked down one thing i don't agree with he did not quit he didn't quit. The referee stopped that fight. That's clear for people to see, but obviously you want to force narratives and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, back back to the post Ruiz two fight. We're witnessing an evolving fighter. You're talking about it's a mentally weak one. This guy is testing out pool counters and stuff. You're talking about it's mentally weak. Spare me the BS. If you watch the whole interview on Raps on TV, even Otto himself. He, he even mentioned um, that AJ has improved a lot from obviously from his amateur days to his pro days clearly up until now he's still improving so this mental fragility you guys are seeing in my opinion it's an evolving fight you're seeing he's evolving you don't you don't just bulldoze everyone that's ridiculous that's not gonna happen he's learnt that and is adapting his style accordingly what's, what's the issue with that What's the issue? If we don't see that Fury against um, the Wilder 2 Fury ever again, if we don't see him again, is Tyson Fury, is he a broken man? Is he a mentally weak man? Is that is that what we're going to be saying? Or <laughs> I doubt we're going to hear any of that. We're not going to hear anything of that sort. But when AJ does it, oh, nah, 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 he can't do that. You can't, you can't change your style. Like I said, it's one rule for one and one for the other. It's pretty, pretty simple between these two fighters. People make all the excuses in the world for Fury. Um, his his um, PED ban has been attributed as some sort of depression and co cocaine use. No, 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 no. You failed for Nandrolong. You failed for Nandrolong before the cocaine issue, but somehow that's been masked, that's been covered, swept under the rug. Let's just move on. People still throw throw all this um, um, steroids claims that AJ. You still see Fury fans running around talking about AJ and steroids and stuff like, huh? Who failed for drugs before? Who's actually been banned for drugs? But yet, nah, nah, nah. Let's let's give AJ all the stick. <laughs> Anyways, back to Warlin. He said he had a dream that AJ knocked him out. I, I need to see that footage because that's that's. That's exclusive footage you've seen. It's in the future. It's in what's actually going to happen. Because if all is basing his prediction on is some mental weakness, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not buying that one. You Fury fans better hope Tyson isn't approaching this fight in that way as well. Don't think you're you're seeing so you don't expect to see some gun shy guy in there. I'm expecting them uppercuts to flow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting them let folks to, to, to flow and land clean. So yeah, be prepared. Anyways, let let me know what you think of everything I said in this video and Walling's comments regarding the fight. Drop it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Yeah, I'm out.